Washington, D.C. Monique, Democratic caller. Hello, hi. I'm getting really irritated by the um, comments that the representative from Texas keep making about President Obama. And you constantly keep saying, fact, he's not helping on immigration. Fact this, fact that. The president is one individual. The Congress is over 400 individuals. It is Congress' job to do their job. You guys are getting paid to basically do nothing. I had to call in because a lot of you representatives don't understand. C-SPAN viewers are junkies. Mm -hmm. We watch every move and everything that the Republicans say as well as what the Democrats say. So the only thing that I say to you and your representatives, go back to your caucus and start coming on C-SPAN with true facts. We don't want to hear rhetoric. We don't want to hear the president isn't doing this. The Democrats aren't doing that. The Republicans aren't doing this. We want to hear what you want to do. Okay, let's hear. Well, well hear that's, uh, we've got 321. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Congress. Um, Congress written large uh, is 535, including the 100 in the Senate and the 435 in the House of Representatives. The House has done its work. We've got 321 bills that no one of which is a panacea, no one of which is a silver bullet that fixes everything. But if you look at the particular area of approach or addressed in those bills, it would have made things better, uh, you know, going forward. So, um, uh, you know, the, the uh, what about the power of the purse, though? Congress does have Congress control of the money. Congress written large, Senate of the House has quote unquote the power of the purse. Harry Reid is an unindicted co-conspirator with everything his president is doing. And so we can't control. We, now, the, 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 sometimes it's misunderstood that the, the, the ability to raise taxes can only start in the House of Representatives. Right? That's not the full power of the purse. The power of the purse is where you spend the money, and those bills can start in either house. And so uh, we have to have the Senate go along with us on any spending thing. So if we're going to, quote, unquote, use the power of the purse, then we've got to have the Senate uh, help us in that regard. The other matter is the legislative branch is not the enforcement branch. The executive branch enforces the law. They actually have laws that we pass and enforces those. And this president and his team are either enforcing them way beyond what the laws themselves say or they're not enforcing them at all. And so uh, it's a combination. But it really is the executive branch role under our three, three branches of government uh, to enforce the laws that Congress passes. And this president's done, a, in my personal view, a pretty poor job of, of doing that on both sides. He's overreached in a lot of areas and he's underperformed. Uh, and others, including the border. One last phone call here sure. for you. It comes from Sherry in Hampton, North Carolina, independent caller. Hello. Morning. Uh, I, I, I'm tickled to death to talk to Representative Mike Conway. Um, but I am going to uh, refer to fact checking. Um, I remember uh, when, um, as a Republican, I voted for Bush one and Bush two, and um, and I remember when I decided to come as a Republican. Uh, we've got to take facts as facts, and if you do some fact checking, when uh, Bush one and Bush two came in, um, I think Clinton had left us with a major, major surplus. And so... Um, okay, Sherry, we'll take that point because we're running out of time with the congressman. Yeah, now, um, the nation had run, uh, I think, one year of a surplus that did not include Social Security surpluses. So the Clinton era of folks like to brag on the, I think, three years in which there were surpluses. I think two of those years, that surplus is generated because we collected more Social Security than we paid out. Uh, they were on a trajectory that they bragged about being able to pay off the debt. But the economy that uh, President Bush, uh, W. Bush inherited was in a recession, and all of that changed. And then 9-11 happened. And so, uh, uh, you know, the things, that, the things that they thought were going to happen in 1999 uh, had some dramatic impact on the 9-11 effect and all the other things that went on that, uh, that, that caused those surpluses to, uh, to not materialize the way that the uh, CBO and others had projected them to, uh, to materialize. Congressman Mike Conaway. Uh, speaking of uh, facts. Thank you very much. Good to be with you. Thank you, Greta. Appreciate it.